I'm Nancy Quinn. I thought you might like to see the horses today. I'm out on the deck and Wilson and Whiskey are just out grazing and enjoying themselves. We have a respite from the smoke and although it's a little windy, I wanted to try to talk to you outside today. Now, tell me, what did you think of the new introduction? Isn't it fun? My husband actually came up with the idea and I decided to do something creative with it. It was, it was a joint effort, um, although I think a lot of it was maybe him leaning over my shoulder telling me I was doing it all wrong. <laughs> but I like to think of it as a collaborative effort and, you know, we got through it and I think we came up with something really cute. So let me know what you think about that. Um, Jan who does live here in the United States, wrote me a while back and asked if I would do a reading, just a few paragraphs, from my book. Sounded like a good idea. I put it off for a while because I actually felt just slightly awkward about it. Uh, my husband once told me that I sounded like a Smurf, which, if you remember, used to be those... Uh, cartoon characters on TV and they had real high-pitched voices. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but the other day I received a, a uh, email from Carol who lives in Australia and she mentioned that she enjoys the video so much because she loves my voice and she could listen to me all day. So thank you Carol for saying that because it sort of gave me a little bit of courage to do do this reading so I appreciate I appreciate your kindness so with that said let's get started I'm just going to read you a couple of paragraphs from from my book Go West Young Woman it is the first book in the series and it actually did win the Will Rogers Medallion Award so I was really thrilled and really pleased about that. When I write, I try to invoke visions in your mind. I actually like to paint with the words, and since I'm a wildlife artist, that, that concept comes very easily to me. So just relax and close your eyes and think about what you're hearing and see if you can visualize it. And just in case you can't, I may even throw up a picture of two while I'm reading. So let me get started. This is actually in chapter 43, and it's just the first uh, two paragraphs. My favorite thing about autumn is the changing colors of the leaves of the quaking aspen. Heart-shaped, they turn a bright golden yellow with streaks of red. The trees grow in large clusters, so I enjoy watching them shiver and shake in even the slightest breeze. When they do move, you can hear them rustling, almost ringing, like a thousand soft cymbals. The sounds drift and swirl through the air. There is nothing like the wind through the leaves. The soothing sounds that break the silence of the life on the mountain. I have learned the mountain has its own rhythm. In the morning are the songbirds that praise the light of day. Come noon, the silent butterflies dance among the poppies that open their petals to welcome the sunlight. The tall pines spread their needles towards the sky, and the wind sways their branches as they stoically stand together. By evening, the sky is painted with both subtle and dramatic hues as the creek, always the creek, rushes headlong in its endless journey to the river below. We move through this natural cycle with gratitude and appreciation, or we ignore it and are the lesser for it. The choice is one we must make each and every day. Well, this gives you just a little bit of a sample of my writing style from my books. And I'm really pleased to tell you that very soon the third book in the series will be available. And as soon as that comes out, I will let you know all about it and post the cover 
and give you plenty of information. I'm really glad you could spend a few minutes of time with me today here on the mountain and a special thanks to Jan who asked me to read and to Carol who encouraged me to do so. So thank you so much. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you have a really great day and a lovely evening to come. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because I would love for you to be able to see more videos as they're posted and come available. So thanks so much everybody and I will see you again very soon. I'm much obliged. Bye-bye. <music>